good morning all and let's see two beautiful problems today and the first one is from binomial theorem the second one is surprise for you which is coming soon so let tn is 2 plus root 3 to the power n for all n belongs to natural number in fact we can extend this for even whole number because t0 can be defined as what so as you can see the problem clearly t1 is 2 plus root 3 and so on and so forth now if tn can be expressed as in plus fn, in belongs to set of integers, this means that's the integral part of number tn and fn is between 0 to 1, so definitely that's fractional part. For example, if I'll take t1, so root 3 if I approximate as let's say 1.71, so we'll have 3.71 something something is serious number. So i of 1 is 3 and f of 1 is 0.71. So you need to find the value of the summation. It's not T2, so there is a small correction. It's Ts times 1 minus Fs. So let's see how we can go about it. Well, so the first thing is to understand the problem. If I'll decode the problem up upstairs, it's 2 T2 times 1 minus F2 plus T4 1 minus F4 and so on till 20, 25 into 2 divided by T1 1 minus F1 plus T3 1 minus F3 and so on and so forth till 2025. Okay, so before we go further in this kind of problem, the usual idea is to understand the genetics of all the terms and they will have the common genetics in the sense like the logic and the physics of maths will be similar. For instance, if you were to find t1 into 1 minus f1, so what will do? Clearly, we know t1 is 2 plus root 3. But now, what is the fractional part? f of 1. So, fractional part is 0 0.71 something something. So, basically, I need to subtract 1 minus 0 0.71 something something and then multiply with 2 plus root 3. And the answer will expect something over here that will appear in front of this. Exactly in the same fashion, we can repeat the thing for all other terms. So before I go further, it's better we can first get a feel with t1 itself. So let's say we have first term is 2 plus root 3. Why not we invite a next term? So I'm inviting a next number, let's say some alpha, which is 2 minus root 3, which is nothing but is conjugate. So now I can tell t1 plus alpha is simply 4. So this is just a rough guesswork that I am doing for the simplest case of the problem. Remember, I have invited alpha because if I add this, I'll get an integer value. Right? So that's the motivation behind inviting the conjugate of this. Now interestingly, t1 is some integer part which is clearly 3 over here and you have 0.71. So let's call it fractional part. So I'm calling f1 plus i1. Now you can see alpha is a fraction because 2.1.71 something something. So definitely it's a, some fraction value. So this plus alpha is going to be 4. So from here I can conclude that f1 plus alpha plus i1 is an even number, right? Even integer. So hence f1 plus alpha must be an integer because even integer or for same reason it's integer minus an integer so that is going to be integer now it's very interestingly what you can see is f1 is a fraction from 0 to 1 f1 cannot attain 0 neither is 1 because clearly we have some fractional number over here because of irrationality alpha is definitely a fraction between 0 to 1 that can also be shown by rationalizing it so alpha is 1 by 2 plus root 3 and it's definitely more than 1 Sense it must fraction. So if I we'll add both of them, alpha plus f1 will dance from 0 to 2. But since I know alpha plus f1 is an integer, so the only possibilities for alpha plus f1 has to be 1 over here because 1 is the only integer which is just strictly line between 0 and 2. And that's a crazy thing because now we understood that f1 plus alpha has to be exact 1, which shows. 1 minus alpha is f1. It means we have found the exact value of fractional part of t1 without actually finding it. Right? So now 
if I evaluate t1 into 1 minus f1 is nothing but t1 times alpha I remember t1 was 2 plus root 3 alpha is our invited guide 2 minus root 3 and that simply goes to 4 minus 3 as well and that's literally crazy because you see we have solved the problem without even bothering about the fractional part of f1 now exactly in the same sense all of this has to be the one which i'll prove right now in general so let's say in general if i take tn equals in plus fn which is 2 plus root 3 to the power n for all n belongs to natural number according to problem description and let me invite a number alpha which is 2 minus root 3 ka power n which is conjugate or sometimes in coaching institute they call it pseudo function okay so we are trying to take help of our cousin 2 minus root 3 to accomplish our work so now tn plus alpha n is definitely 2 minus root 3 to the power n plus 2 plus root 3 to the power n so if I expand I get 2 ka power n plus n choose 1 2 ka power n minus 1 minus root 3 plus n choose 2 2 ka power n minus 2 minus root 3 whole square and so on so forth similarly 2 plus root 3 is nc1 root 3 nc2 2 ka power n minus 2 root 3 square and so forth so what we can see by adding them is all these odd numbers will simply evaporate so that will not be there in the system so we'll have 2 times of 2 ka power n plus n choose 2 2 ka power n minus 2 into 3 so all irrational powers so we'll have all root 3 to the power even number so that will be an integer right it will be 3 ka power something so hence what we have shown is for any n value tn plus alpha n has to be integer in fact precisely it's even integer and now we know tn is integral part of number tn plus fraction part so that has to be integer hence fn plus alpha n is bound to be integer and now with the same logic since fn is dancing between 0 to 1 and alpha n is between 0 to 1 you can clearly see alpha n is 0 to 1 because 2 minus root 3 is a fraction and fraction kappa power n will definitely be a fraction So if this guy is integer, hence fn plus alpha n has to be integer to 2. So the only integer to integer to 2 is 1. And that shows alpha n is 1 minus fn or fn is 1 minus alpha n. Now with this information, we can write tn times alpha n equals 2 plus root 3 ka power n to 2 minus root 3 ka power n which is 1 ka power n. And independent of what number you put, answer is one right so i hope you have enjoyed the problem from its basic and see how thought process is being developed in this kind of problems this is very well celebrated problem in most of the textbook but the design of the problem was a little bit new at least in this fashion so now all these value is just one so we are adding 20 25 times numerator divided by we are adding again this 120 25 times and the answer is simply one to this problem let's try another question without any delay and here we go so let's see what we can do about this now when you look at this kind of general problem as you have seen in the first one as well you must not fear because 2025 means they have just scaled up the problem with a to the power 2 a to the power 3 so 2025 makes things more easier rather than being difficult right so first it's always wise to see unity in diversity so we can observe a2025 minus 3a cube and b2025 minus 3b cube is reoccurring in all these expressions again and again so that is something which is unifying all these expressions right so there is three set of equations which is given and again we need to ask the minimum value of these two expressions so without any issue i can take this entire expression and i can name it as let's say some alpha and this guy is just beta right so this guy is alpha we have beta it's alpha 
beta alpha beta alpha beta alpha beta and what we want is alpha plus beta minimum value right so let's restate the problem it goes like mod of alpha minus 2 plus mod beta minus 2 equals now it looks more simpler to our eyes and that's the first step towards problem solving it's mod alpha plus mod beta it's mod alpha plus 7 plus mod beta plus 7 alpha plus 7 plus mod beta plus 7. again you can see all these three values are equal so to sum up these three given system vacation can be simply written in this form equals mod alpha plus 7 plus mod beta plus where remember alpha beta belongs to real number because alpha itself is common genetics in all this equation motivates us to define a function which is basically which can capture all this information in a single capsule so alpha and beta is fixed number and 220077 is changing so we are tempted to define a function f of x equals alpha minus x mod plus beta minus x mod and what's given is so i'm just caps capsuling this information as f of 0 is equal to f of 2 equals f of minus 7. Now it's not difficult to draw the graph of this function, it's typical bar 2 curve. So critical point will be x equals alpha. We have another point x equals beta. It may be positive or negative, we don't know, right? So at alpha will get a value of mod alpha minus beta. Similarly, beta will get the same value more than beta it will go like this less than beta it will go like this now this bottom can slide anywhere okay so alpha can be even negative beta positive or any four sciences can say one of them can be zero also now according to the given problem we want f of zero for this function the height at x equal to zero must be same at height at x, x equal to two let's say two is somewhere here suppose is same as height at x equals minus seven so now how this part uh, what will be the positioning of alpha and beta so that these three height should be equal clearly it's not equal over here in this diagram so that's not very difficult to see so these three heights will be equal if and only if you are under the roof of this segment right so it means now i'm sure like minus 7 0 and 2 must be engulfed by the s pen this distance of alpha and beta it means now let's say we have this 0 over here minus 7 over here and 2 over here so we can have some beta value over here and alpha here okay so this is one of the possibilities for the given equation to hold of course we can have many possibilities uh, one other possibilities in the same span can be uh, minus 7 0 2 and the bar 2 curve is like this uh, still we have same height either in the first case or in the second case so hence what will be the minimum gapping between these two values right the minimum gapping between these two values alpha and beta is going to be 9 right because you can have any part of over here which will give the same height so for this minimum height clearly beta minus alpha gapping has to be 9 and that was precisely the question because they wanted you to find a to the power 2025 which is alpha minus 3a cube and beta was b to the power 2025 minus 3b cube so this was alpha minus beta right so this minimum gapping is nothing but nine. so this was a basic problem uh, in the first go of course you will be fearful by looking at the problem but the point was how to slowly decode this the reoccurrence of the same terms a to the power 2025 minus 3 cube was giving a hint of keeping some a smaller nomenclature for this now yet the problem is not fully solved because what i have not shown the alpha and beta can take any real values right because if a is real number i have not shown where alpha can also freely take any real values so is it possible that alpha minus beta will be 9 maybe alpha is restricted at some point because alpha is dependent on a and a is real so clearly this is an odd function right so at 
if we see a equal to zero, we'll get zero. At a infinity, definitely I'm going to get the infinity. At a minus infinity, we'll get minus infinity. So hence, if a belongs to real number, so the range of alpha will also be real. So alpha I can assume any value and same is beta, right? So hence now regress, we have solved the problem and now we can conclude that alpha and beta is completely free. So they have full freedom over here to attain any value. If you are really enjoying this lecture and more than enjoyment, if it is relevant for J preparation and adding to your value in mathematics, please do like and subscribe the channel because it will keep me more motivated to come with more relevant and quality content for free. Thank you. Have a good day.